After 47 years of talking about legalizing marijuana, the hash bash at the University of Michigan has a big win to celebrate coming up tomorrow. Mara McDonald, uh, Mara McDonald reports from campus tonight uh, on what we expect will happen tomorrow. Hey, Mara. Hey, Devin. I think that if the smell is any indication, some people may have already started pre-hash bashing. And while certainly hash bash has always been a celebratory atmosphere, this year they've got a voting victory. As the sun sets on campus tonight, tomorrow ushers in the 48th hash bash on the Diag at U of M, which can be many things. A hotbed of political activism, a place to show your love of weed, a party, and an Ann Arbor tradition. I do think it's an event that makes Ann Arbor Ann Arbor. And like any large scale event here, it presents challenges. I know it's tomorrow. I'm not coming near downtown. Sort of like a football Saturday. Where parking is impossible and spirits may be well high. Well, me and my friend went out and just walked by some of the events, walked across like the Diag and yeah, we we experienced it, I guess. The focus in years past has always been the legalization effort here in state and now with the passage of recreational marijuana, a shift in focus to making pot legal at the federal level. Don't be surprised if you see some of our congressional delegation here talking the options tomorrow. Hash bash attracts all kinds to campus, but is it a priority for the students? Yes. Most tell me they're more worried about studying for upcoming finals. I would like to like check it out like one of my years I've been staying here, but I'm not sure if I'll be going tomorrow. Back here live, something to consider. Recreational marijuana may be okay in Michigan, but U of M, that's a smoke-free campus. We're live in Ann Arbor tonight. I'm Mara McDonald.